am Janelle, this is to DIY for, and this week I am tackling a project that I again found on Pinterest. It seems to be a bit of a trend right now, uh, macrame hanging mirrors as a nice little decor piece. Often I'm seeing that these are being used with smaller mirrors, so maybe not necessarily something that you're actually going to use as a mirror to do your makeup or just like check your look before you leave, but more of a decorative piece. But you can actually get most of these items from the dollar store. There are these little tiny mirrors. I believe they have circle ones there as well. You can even get larger ones than this at the dollar store for a couple of bucks. I have some wooden beads from the dollar store. This is a binder clip from the dollar store that I'm actually just using as a hoop to hang it with. And then you'll need macrame cord. And that's really all there is to it. So I'm going to show you how I put mine together. So for my first step, I cut uh, three of these cords, which are about four feet long because you want to be able to double them up. Now the measurements are likely going to vary depending on the size of mirror. If you have something similar and smaller to my size, this should be lots, but when working with macrame, it's always a good idea to give yourself a little extra and then you can always trim off the ends towards the bottom. So I'm using a binder clip uh, just because I had this around home and I'm going to kind of cover up this piece so it really just looks like a metal hoop. You can use whatever you have. And then we're going to go ahead and find the middle point for one of our strands and loop it on like so and back through itself. And then you can pull it tight. So now for the two outer pieces, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm actually going to vary the length of these cords and make them uneven. So I want to have one shorter piece and one longer piece. And that's because this piece is actually gonna be used to do um, a little bit of macrame knot tying and we need an extra long strand. So when you tie this on you're going to want to have that long strand on the furthest most point so i'm just again tying these pieces here together and looping them around and you'll do the exact same on the other side okay so to give you an idea on how to do a very simplistic macrame knot we are going to take these four strands and have them here in the center and these are your two longer strands. And what you're going to do is lay it over top and go top over top, in through, and kind of knot on itself. You can see, I'm gonna have it loosely sit right around there. So once you do one side, you're gonna do the same on the other side. So across, I like to think make a number four and then underneath all of them and back through and again, having those lay flat and get it to go tight. It's a little tricky to get started, but once you get it going and you do a couple of them, it's really pretty simple. So now I've done two on each side. I think I'm gonna do three on each side before moving to the next step. And you can kind of do your design however you want, but this is just what I'm doing. I'm kind of making it up as I go along. So that's kind of the look that we have going on here. And we're gonna move on. This kind of sit here in the middle and I'm going to have these two strands go straight down and these are going to be connected with some beads so my wooden beads that I have now probably the best way to do this is to tape off the ends which I've already done it makes it a lot easier to slide into that hole I think I'm gonna have one strand go in front, one strand behind. And the strand that actually comes in front, I am going to add another bead. So this time the beads are going in opposite directions. 
or the, sorry, the strings are going into the bead in opposite directions because of the look that I want. And this is also going to help hold the mirror in place. <laughs> That's how I'm getting that in. <laughs> So I want this to sit just kind of at the bottom of my diamond and we're going to eventually tie these all off together using the same knot technique up here. Now the beauty of this design is that you can actually have it sit in here um, in both different directions. So we can have this sit kind of like this. Or you could have it kind of hanging like a diamond like this. So let me know what you thought of this DIY. Uh, I find it very affordable and a, and a great piece of decor because I would think that this would probably look good in almost any room in the home. And it's really affordable because most of the stuff come from the dollar store, minus the macrame cord, which isn't too expensive, but you can do uh, a bunch of these, which would look really cool up on a wall together, or, um, you know, make something else with macrame cord. It, it has lots of uses, including hanging planters, which I've done in the past. I will leave that linked for you. But otherwise, uh, I do want to say a big thank you to everyone who is concerned about my hand last week. Uh, yes, it's still healing from my soup explosion accident in the kitchen, but it was so nice to see, you know, people leaving tips and comments and well wishes for me. So uh, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, my mom freaked out when she saw the video. She immediately called me. I was like, what happened? Are you okay? Um, it is still kind of gross looking. It's getting a lot better. It's now completely peeling off. It's incredibly itchy and I know it still looks bad, but fingers crossed maybe next week it'll start to look a little bit better. I did just want to say thank you for uh, all the love though. It was really nice to receive. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. We will get back to more DIYs next Wednesday and I'll chat with you then. Cheers.